marking out the bare bones, the start, big startings, beginnings of a of a narrow boat. Let me stock steel plates. This is going to be the swim plates. I'm going to mark out the uh, the stern and the bow over there later. And you can see it's all by hand. Most of the measurements are still in here. Yeah, this is the first day and hopefully in four weeks time we'll have a finished article, or steel work wise, which is what we're doing. So Andrew and DCBM is, uh, is just the steel work. And then this will go, be pushed outside, jacked up on rollers, rolled outside and picked up with a crane and um, taken up to Nantwich, which, uh, which will be fitted out there then. So uh, yeah, four weeks for definite, hopefully a bit sooner, but it takes what it takes. I don't rush it. Um, I give a, a, a reasonable indication of time scale, but uh, I, it's not worth rushing the job for a day or two here. But as you can see, these templates are old. This is what I've uh, arrived at over many years. And fettling them, altering them, and uh, finally coming up with the design I'm very happy with. And then we've got, that's your front canted deck area. That's a gas locker. Yeah, steel, steel thickness is six mil, which is what all hull uh, up to gunnel level would be. Oh, the base plate, which is uh, to your right, is uh, is 10 mil, which is pretty much an industry standard. Uh, it allows for plenty of wear being 10 mil thick. I mean, originally they were six mil. Um, but uh, you know, people demanding boats to last a lot longer and uh, not having to worry about overplating and wearing through, so 10 mil was adopted. Okay, 